Hey guys, welcome back to JR14. Here we are with another video with Project Mark 7. Now, if you remember a, lot, a few videos ago, I installed the Arrow Force Interceptor Boost Gauge and the Gauge Pod in Project Mark 7. Now, if you haven't seen that video, the full installation on how to install this properly in either your Golf R or your GTI, please click in the upper right hand corner of the screen. But today, what we're going to be talking about is how to use this boost gauge. This boost gauge, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this boost gauge. There's a lot of different parameters that you can look at, uh, how you can data log the information. You'll be able to do that. You're, you're able to do a lot with this boost gauge and I'm here to show you today. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Before we get started with this specific boost gauge, this specific boost gauge does a number of different things. So it actually shows you true boost pressure and even more information due to the fact that it uses the borrow meter from the actual map of the vehicle. This is done by just you plugging this unit up to the OBD2 port. No need for a boost tap, no need for anything else. You have all your information right here at all times as long as the car is running. That's one good thing. So as you guys know, I have an actual manual transmission vehicle, but for all the people who have DSG out there, this thing can actually read the DSG parameters such as the clutch temperatures as well as the pressures. Um, it can also, you can also check the different things as far as your performance. So you can check things in regards of your, you can check things in regards of your uh, zero to 60 foot, uh, eighth mile, quarter mile times. Um, acceleration from zero to 130 or you know or zero to 60 miles an hour you can do all that with this unit you can also trouble you can also do troubleshooting codes I didn't even know this about that I didn't even notice this feature in this unit but you can actually troubleshoot the codes at your leisure and then check them out so for instance if you're having an issue you get a check engine light you can actually read the code right off of here as well since it is plugged up to the obd2 port you do have this for information now obviously like you guys already know i have a cob access port well jay what's so different with this on the cob access port it's not that much different however if you're running apr eurodyne any other different tune where you don't get an actual module to read your information in real time, this is a good alternative for you. So you can actually do this as well. It also can read different things such as ethanol content. So for instance, if you're using E85, you need to know how much E85 is in the car versus your tune. You could check knock. You could check a bunch of different things that we're going to check out today but this is a pretty cool product i really do like it a lot it shows me a lot of different readings a lot of different parameters and it's and it's pretty cool like you know it, you know there's a shift light uh when you hit that you can use it for a boost you can actually use it for your rpms so you know we're gonna go jump right into but i'm rambling right now we're gonna actually jump right into what this thing can actually do turn it off so when you turn it back on so you see the logo right there. All right, so now these are my two first settings. So I have a bunch of different things. So these two buttons on the left and right side, push them in together is your enter or okay button. This will actually change, so the bottom one, so if you hit the right side, it changes the bottom parameter. So these are parameters that you have set um, for yourself to look at. Me, I look at boost pressure, I look at RPMs, I look at, um, air intake temperature coolant temperature oil temperature engine speed and all those things so i look at all those different things so so for instance if i hit the left side the upper the upper portion of it will change if i hit the right side the bottom portion will change the good thing about this is that i can set these parameters any way i want i usually me personally i really like to look at a couple of things um i like to look at my air intake temperature on the bottom and I usually like to look at my boost pressure on the top. That's just my preference. That's how I usually like to operate. So I, I like to operate this unit as I'm driving. Um, now the cool thing about this is that if you hit both of these together, now you're in the main menu. So you see arrow force at the top and you see your different parameters. So if you click into parameters, 
it asks you, for instance, if you do have a Volkswagen, if you do get this and you do not have a 2015 car, go over to no, hit both buttons together. Now these are all the different things that you can look at. And there's a lot of things that you can look at. Boost pressure, coolant, uh, coolant at the radiator, engine oil, um, RPMs, oil temperature too, uh, torque, newtonmeters, exhaust temperature, um, fuel pressure, uh, your high pressure fuel bar, uh, your high your high flow pressure bar, and your low pressure uh, your low fuel pressure bar, fuel temperature, air intake temperature, mass airflow, engine oil temperature, ignition ink, you know there's a bunch of different things that you can look at. Throttle position, your knock sensors and cylinder one, two, three, or four degrees. Um, your, uh, your miles per hour, volts, your acceleration position, your engine load, all these other different things that you can see through these parameters here, you can look at. So this is pretty cool what you can look at. Okay, so once you look at, so once you, as, as, obviously as you just saw, I already set my parameters. So now we're gonna go back into the menu and then that's how you, by the way, that's how you can circle back and forth through everything so you know the parameters at the top and the bottom you're able to look at two at a time and you can cycle through them with just the click of the left the left or the right button so that's pretty cool so the cool thing about another cool thing about this which is pretty cool is that for instance if you're at the track and your car is hot you want to run the fans you can actually set this while the car is off to actually still function and let the radiator fans run so you can cool the engine down down faster i think that's pretty cool so you have a bunch of different things that you can look at you can record like i said you can record um you can data log with the car so if you want to actually send data logs out if you want to look at them yourself if you're more into tuning and in depth with your with your specs you can data log with this um and there's a lot of different things that you could do with it your graph for instance if you want to see so for instance i believe this is showing this is showing boost pressure, right? So, as you're seeing, it's a linear line because the car is idling. But as you can see, see the spikes and see the stuff go up in the graph? So, as you can see, you see the behavior as the car is idling. So, that's pretty cool as well. So, you get a lot of different things that you can look at with this. So, this is the graph based on PSI of boost pressure. Yeah, too. So if you wanna look at it from a duration of time that you're driving and seeing where it's peaking, where it's not peaking, you're able to do so. And this tool, this is a great tool utilized uh, to do that. You can't do this with Cobb. This is actually, I mean, something a little, it's intricate. If you wanted to look at something in a different type of scale, you can look at it based on a graph. Now, if you wanna invert the screen, this means if you want the background to be white, and the letters to be black you can do that i actually like it with the black screen kind of matches the interior i'm weird like that don't don't judge me dct is diagnostic trouble codes so you know check engine light you're having a misfire something like that you're able to look at performance so if you wanted to look at uh, 60 miles an hour to 130 miles an hour you can how many seconds can you get to 60 to 30. so you know this is miles per hour here if you wanted to check stuff out you're able to do so so it's pretty cool like there's a lot of different things in this and and you actuate i believe that's how you pronounce it uh basically this is your shift light so if i have it set for rpms um you can have it set for boost you can have it set for temperature you can have it set for a lot of different parameters uh, you know so i think that's pretty cool you know you can check status you can check the graph if you want to you know and then trims and it goes back to parameters so these are some of the things that you can actually look at with your gauge pod if you're interested but like i said that's a lot of what you can do with the arrow force gauge pod and i'm only touching the surface there's a lot of other things that you can do too you could check all your dsg like i said you could check all the parameters that you need to for the dsg you can check ethanol content if you're running e85 you can check boost pressure me i simply just need it right now for knock boost pressure air intake temperature because i have it in the cooler and um you know some other things as well like so you know rpms and the shift light and stuff like that i mean this car is really 
it's not that aggressive yet where I have a bigger turbo to where I'm gonna miss the RPMs. It does rev fast, it does spin fast, but I don't really need a shift light. I just do it for aesthetics. But if you do need that for like, for instance, the track where you need to focus on the road, that thing, would, and, and those lights are very bright. And I like the fact that they're red too to match the interior of the theme of the red stuff. You know, the red stripes inside the interior. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that you can utilize this. And I believe that this is around $300. You know, can't really beat it for all the stuff that you do get. Cobb Access Port, even I think you can utilize it, but you have to tune the car to use all the features on it. So this is all good. For instance, like all the tuners that don't even, you don't have a, uh, an actual module to use to monitor what's going on with the car. This is a great option for you guys, you know? So if you do have any more questions regarding this, I just briefly touched the surface on this just to give you an idea of how to navigate through it, some different features about it. And you know, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions about this, I'm sure you guys are gonna have questions about it. Please shoot me a DM on my Instagram page, which is JR14YT, or put your comments down in the comment section below. And I will put a link of where you can buy this product for yourself and also the gauge pod as well. I want you to make sure that you watch all the videos first on how to install this and do this before purchasing it. So this way you're happy with the product. Um, you know, it's definitely more involved than most simple boost gauges and you don't even have to drill anything in your engine bay. Like for instance, I believe it's the, uh, in the cool, I mean, no, the, um, come on, Jay, the intake manifold. So you don't have to do any boost taps or anything with this. I want to reassure you that all it is is simply just the only hole you're drilling is a slight hole in the in the gauge and not in the gauge pod but in inside the uh the duct so you're able to run a wire through it you're never going to see it it doesn't you never you're never going to notice it so watch that previous video and you'll see what i'm talking about but that's it like i said if you have any questions please shoot me on it uh, shoot me a message to me a dm on instagram also need you to shoot me a comment down below if you have any questions but if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up make sure that you like share and subscribe to jr14 don't worry there's more content coming up i know you guys have been waiting for the walkthrough video and i have a special surprise for you with that too and also another video as well coming up very shortly on jr14 so you need to subscribe and hit that notification bell to see those videos that are coming up but guys take care and remember cars are a lifestyle